Hi, so once we understand what actually the mast is, let's understand what kind of different masts we have. So we can look into the different scenarios. So we have a bigger mast, which is also called as a macro. It's a macro site or a macro base station. And within this base station, we have a different antennas and each antenna separately is called as a cell. So one BTS or a one base station is having multiple antennas. It means multiple cells it is having. Depending upon the kind of area we want to cover, we can plan them accordingly. We want to have a bigger mast so as to cover a larger area. It is known as a macro site. If we have a smaller area, not a very large area to cover, we just want to restrict it to a small set of buildings or maybe a small set of area, we can have a micro site in that case. But in that case, we may need a more number of micro sites to cover the equal amount of geographical area as compared to the macro site. But in this case, in micro site, we are just concentrating the signal strength more. Maybe for the indoor users, we are able to provide them a better coverage. Along with that, we have certain other cells, which is a Pico cell and a small cell. So Pico cell, this, this is widely used for the indoor coverage, maybe in a malls. What we do is we put up smaller antennas and these antennas are not having a very high transmitted power. It is having a very less footprint. In that case, we can have more number of Pico cells and restricted it to just few meter of the area to be covered by it within a building. Along with that, we have certain small cells also which can be used. So it is further a smaller version of a micro site where actually we are covering to a smaller area which is actually not being covered by the bigger sites or the macro sites in that case. So it is again covering a very few meters of the area and it is Say, for example, there is some shadow zone where the coverage is not reaching from the bigger masts or the macro sites. In that case, we can deploy these small, small cells, uh, especially in case of the higher frequency bands. When we talk about the 5G technology, there actually small cells plays a vital role because macro site at a very high frequency band would not be able to penetrate much. And we understand that the what physics says that if the frequency band is really higher, will not be able to have a more or a higher wavelength in that case. So we have a restricted coverage in that case. So small cells can be used in a higher frequency bands precisely in a millimeter wave in 5G. So these are the different types and kind of masks that can be deployed in the telecom network.